I ain't shit. I ain't worth nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I can't stress that enough to you. So I demand myself to tell the truth and I demand those around me to tell the truth because until the day I stop breathing, I'm always going to breathe Temple Christian. And those who come in my life and come in my circle, they going to inhale what I exhale. And if I give them bullshit, then I am guiding them down the path of destruction. Now, when you take your family and you take your sister into account, if you stand back and you ride with her and you allow her to taste destruction, then there ain't no point to you sharing the same blood. Now, more importantly, getting back to a lie staying in the dark, what happens is that time goes on and you get away with it. You chilling, you got your little skeleton in the closet. You may have had an abortion, everything is cool and y'all riding. And now memories are being created. Y'all going on vacation, y'all going here, y'all going there. You may attend her wedding, she may attend your wedding. And all these memories are being built. And then one day, one day, that lie comes to the light. And when it comes to the light, the hell you would have been paying today is 10 times worse than the hell that's coming tomorrow. Because real talk, now she looking at you like, hold on. Do all these trips, do all this shit we experience, you was fake. You was smiling in my face. You was telling me you love me. We high five and we talking about A, B, and C. And that whole time. You ain't give a fuck about who I shared my bed with, who I shared my heart with. And you, my sister, my blood, the one woman in my life besides my mama that ain't never supposed to do me dirty. Not only did you do me dirty, you stood over me and you laughed even when you were crying because you couldn't get over your own fear. You couldn't get over your own selfishness to help me when I needed you most, when I confided in you about who I'm with, about who I'm having my children with, and the ups and downs and the struggles we may be having or I may be having with dude A, B, or C, and you know this person ain't shit for me, and you advised me, and you smiled at me, and the advice that I really needed it never came. Now again, I understand if you do because this is some real sticky shit. I don't condone it because that goes against the core of everything I believe and everything I stand for. And I don't lie to nobody. Straight up. Everybody watching right now, I'm going to tell you fuck off with the truth. If you don't like me for the truth, kiss my ass. I will not shortchange myself for you. And I don't care how fine you are, shorty. I don't care how real you are, fam. I ain't going to lose me for you because I don't fear your judgment. I don't fear you as an individual. So I can't lie to you. And the most you can do to me is like, yo, temple, fuck off, dog, nigga, you whack. Or I don't want you. I don't want to date you. I mean, that's it. And the way I understand life, I'm going to get rejected anyway. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, people ain't gonna like me. People ain't gonna feel me. So what's the point of lying? No, no matter who I pretend to be, no matter who I pretend not to be, there's gonna be people out there like, yo, you ain't shit. I mean, hell, there's people that come to my channel and I know I'm trying to do good that do not like me. Rejection is a part of life. And rejection is something that we got to deal with. So you can't fear the rejection that may come with the responsibility of telling the truth. Now, again, I can't stress to you. I understand why you should lie. 
I mean, hell, there's a part of me in my head that's like, nigga, don't tell. Don't tell a motherfucking soul. I, <laughs> I promise you, because you are in some sticky shit. But that goes against, again, the core of who I am. And I'd be doing myself a disservice if I tell you to do that because I know in the long run, shorty, you're going to fall short. And I can't stress to you enough that life is about accepting responsibility. Life is about standing up. And between you and me and everybody's watching and anybody who got just a fucking drop of common sense. It's one of the hardest things to do because there's not always a positive reward. There's not always that pat on the back that comes with being responsible. Shit, sometimes you're going to step up and be responsible and get kicked as if you were irresponsible. But that don't mean you shouldn't do it because when you're not, then everybody loses. Because you gotta understand, there are people counting on you right now that you don't know. There are people counting on you right now that you haven't even met. Now that may go above you or past your head, but but listen to me. There are people counting on you that you do not even know about. And every decision you make, today, yesterday, and tomorrow, holds weight in their eyes and will continue to hold weight. And look, I know that if you step up and do this, you're going to get crucified. And you deserve it. I mean, real is real. You know you shouldn't have done what you did. You're going to get vilified. You're going to get caught all kind of You're going to be a scumbag. And trust me, I'm being polite when I say that. But that is the consequence of your decision. That is the consequence of your action. And now that is the responsibility you yourself have put yourself in a position to accept. And I'm telling you, man, you may lose your sister for life. You may lose her for a year, two, three. You may lose her for a day, but... If you lose her for however long it may be, you can't say it's not fair. Because for however long you were receiving that effective pipe for, she lost you. And that love that she needs from you for that moment was gone. Now look, you only may have had a temporary scumbag moment. You know, but it is what it is. And if that action means that you have to carry the responsibility of being a scumbag for the rest of your life, then shall be. You can't run from that. And if you try, the one thing you will see, sweetheart, about life is that it's a little bit faster than you. And there's no race that you can win. Because life has the all-time Olympic record, not a human being. That's just a myth we choose to believe in because we attend sports events and we watch the news. But life is quicker than all of us. That's why it comes and goes so quick. Now, I'm going to step away from you for a minute and I want to talk to the men, all right? And ladies, I'm going to say some things to the men that might, may be offended to y'all, but mind your business. This is man speak right now. To the men watching this. I know right now, let me get up close because I'm talking to y'all. Y'all my niggas and y'all my, for the white people that may be watching me, don't get offended. You use a nigga too. We all, that's, that's like brother. So stay with me. But to some of y'all bastards watching right now, I know there's a few of y'all that, that got the opportunity to do the same damn thing. Real talk. I know your girl got a friend that you know is giving you the signal to give the pipe. And I'm telling you, don't do it. It ain't worth the drama, man. There is too much pussy in the world, and y'all know it, to dig so close to home. Dig on the next block, fam. Dig anywhere else but that close to home. 